Hey everybody. I am going to do um, similar to, well not altogether similar. This was the last painting I did, which I absolutely love. So I am going to um, do a black and white painting um, with a uh, tree pour down the middle. Yep, I think you can see. So I, um, I bought some Dutch Boy black paint since I've been using more of it. Seemed a more cost effective way to go, but I started with a little one um, because on those little paint chips, the black doesn't look really black. So I wasn't so sure. So I got, and this one is called Pure Black. Um, I am going to hold up, sometimes places can match paints. So I am going to hold up, these are the colors or the percentages or whatever this means. I bet if you like it and you took a snapshot of this and brought it to your paint store, they could figure it out. <laughs> And this is, yep, yeah, otherwise this is the same, it's satin. And this was $10. So $10 um, in 29 ounces. So it's still cheaper than um, uh, artist paint. The one I just mixed up, I put a lot of Floetrol in it, so there's almost no water. It's pretty much paint and flow troll. but And then for the black that I am using in the swirl pour, I added iridescent medium. So it's sparkly. And I thought about adding color to this because I really like the look of the magenta with the black. But Gosh, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking just all black and white, I mean. It's a toughie. I just moved this closer, so let me make sure that you can still see it. I just can't decide. Because isn't that magenta amazing with it? Whoop, there we go. But... I think I will wait for another pour for the magenta. Because this pour I've been thinking about all day. So I should probably go ahead and do it. It's like all day at work. Just thinking about it. And this was great. I shook this up without the cap on it. <laughs> so that got paint a little bit everywhere. And this is black, or this is black. This is um, MDF wood that I primed with black. Whoops. I wonder what happens if I just put a little bit of the magenta in. I'm probably going to regret it. But it is just calling my name. It is so pretty. And the lid is stuck. Arr. All right, well, I just turned that lid inside out. Yeah, I don't, okay. So I didn't put it in correctly to get like a real swirl. Oh, 
really thought I had put more white in it. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Okay, now, whoa, I am just going to. Oof, that's really bad. I'm gonna see if I can pour it into the cup. Well, I'm pouring like half of it into the cup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just making a big mess. Ooh, that looks like marble. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's not good at all. Ugh. Yuck. I should have known better. Not to use the pink. A whole different idea. I'm just going to pour that sparkly black back into the big black because now I've got a different idea. Yeah, stay. Okay. String pull with white. Mm. Ah, I do have the scissors. But oh my god, I'm just going to have to knock through this. But no, there's the scissors. Stop it. Okay. Hang on while I cover this pink. And pour some white in here for the string. This pour so nice and smooth. Probably because it's half flow troll. <laughs> it's nice and creamy. So with that last pour. Because I said before I started that I should not use the pink. But I'm, I'm like, sometimes I think I'm like a little child who, you know, don't touch the oven, it's hot, and then has to touch the oven. Um, 
I knew that pink wasn't gonna work, but unless I went ahead and did it, it was gonna be niggling at the back of my head the whole time. I should've used pink. <laughs> I think I see ya. I don't know why I'm like that about things, cause like in the rest of my life I'm not, you know? Like I'm pretty normal in the rest of my life, I would like to think. Ugh, I probably should have um, cleaned uh, the um, paper, changed the paper. I did not. Right, how deep is this? That's all right. Ugh, the hand. So my trash can looks like somebody very badly tried to clean up a murder scene from that red painting the other day. There's just red everywhere on all these paper, paper towels, and it, it's, yeah, it's like a really lousy criminal was here. All right, I am, I don't think you can see this, but I am taking the string out. Ugh, dang it, it's dripping. I do not want it to drip. That is very cool. Now I am wiping the black paint off of the string and putting it back in there while I look at my painting and try to determine where the next place is I should put it. Um, there is no silicone in this pour, Why? Gosh, isn't that way cool? <sighs> the simplicity of it, I almost want to leave it, but I'm like, God, I can't just leave it. That's just that's so simple. I mean, I could try and do one that way, but if it looks way different, it's going to be weird. Huh, I don't know what to do, people. I really don't. I love the simplicity of this. I also think starting one down here. Okay, they might have an idea. What I did here was pretty basic, so if I screw this up. I can figure out where to restart again. Problem is these dripping. Okay. That I can clean up, so that I can fix. Hi, hi, I picked it up. scarily turn this so I can see it from another angle. 
Ooh, scary. I think I made a dolphin. They like the dolphin. I like this and this and this and not right here. How can I change that? did a short one. I think I did a short one. You know, these string pulls seem like they should be as easy as pie. They really do. And then they're really not. Okay, so that was the end of it, right? Um, yeah, I started pulling down, so I want to want to start here. did get rid of the whale. I must have had a lot more white paint on that one. I made the black paint fairly thick because I didn't want a whole lot of movement. So, ooh, I like how there's color coming up here. I still don't care for this spot. Okay, so that started, er, yes, I started here, here, pulled down, how did I end up, see now I wish I could watch what I just did, because how did I end up with this beautiful area without, because here I think I got the whale because it kind of twisted and I twisted as I pulled it up. Um, hmm. Let me torch it and see. Sometimes simple is best. And let me step away from it to look at it. Um, you know, I'm gonna look at it through the through the camera because sometimes that helps too. That is, I really like this and its simplicity. I'm gonna leave it. I think because um, I don't want to like the other day where I just kept string pulling and string pulling and string pulling until there was really no good painting left. So I'm going to leave it. Um, I do need to touch up that. And there was that area that had the um, white, but I don't see it anymore. This is really nice. I'm happy with it. There's little bits of white, but I mean, I've got wet paint on wet paint. You really can't prevent that entirely. 
But you guys do know that I just want to run in here and do more and more and more. Because I find it really soothing and pottery today because the students I have in there finish their projects early. So I've just been, I've just been letting them play with the um, clay. We've been rolling it out and playing tic-tac-toe in it and um, all sorts of stuff. And because, you know, usually in a nice project, you're like, when you make a pattern, you can't go too deep or it'll go through. But today I'm like, you can go through, you can smash it, you can punch it, you can, you know, smush objects into it. They're having so much fun. But I took us, I rolled out a slab and, you know, um, roughed it up and smoothed it. I'm like, oh my God, I think I could smooth clay all day long. So soothing. But yeah, just playing in clay is so much fun. I had no idea my students would be so in love, you know, because they have total freedom. You don't have to follow any rules. It's awesome. So pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty happy with it. And I don't really need to zoom you up because this is pretty much it. There's no like little tiny details that you're unable to see from this. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.